Have you ever wondered why pirates are often depicted with an eye patch? The reason why it might be surprising, and no, it's not because they lost an eye while at sea. Let's suppose our pirate is on a ship in the middle of the ocean. For whatever reason, he had to go below deck, where the light of the afternoon sun cannot reach. In order to see in the darkness, the pirate would have to move his eye patch to the other eye, and suddenly, he's able to see much better. Why does this happen? Inside our eyes, we have what are called photoreceptor cells, and these are used to allow our brains to process and see color, and by connection, light. There are two types of photoreceptor cells in our eyes, cones and rods. Cones are used for processing color vision, while rods are used for processing monochromatic vision. Connected to each cone and rod are cells called bipolar cells. Following those are cells called ganglion cells. Inside rod cells, there are molecules called rhodopsin, which is a G protein coupled receptor, or GPCR. They are important proteins in terms of receptors, as they can detect molecules and send cellular signals in response. Rhodopsin is incredibly sensitive to light, which allows low resolution vision in low light conditions. However, when exposed to light, it bleaches, causing temporary blindness. Rhodopsin in humans becomes fully regenerated in around 30 minutes, which is why it takes about 30 minutes upon entering a dark room before your night vision develops. Light and dark adaptation is how our eyes adapt to changes in light. In low light, the concentration of cyclic guanosine monophosphate, or CGMP, in photoreceptors is high. Sensitivity to light in mammalian eyes is modulated by changes in the concentrations of intracellular calcium ions and CGMP. Because of the high concentration of CGMP in the receptor cell, it binds to and opens CGMP-gated Na plus channels, also known as cyclic nucleotide-gated or CNG channels, which allows an influx of sodium and calcium ions. CNG channels are non-selective, which is why both cations are able to flow through it. Right. The influx of sodium ions causes depolarization in the receptor cell, while the calcium binds to a modulatory protein, resulting in guanoline cyclase being unable to function. Usually, GC is used to produce CGMP, so this works to lower the concentration of CGMP. The increase in calcium ions also increases the activity of phosphodiesterase, or PDE, thus hydrolyzing CGMP to further decrease its concentration. As a result, this closes the CGMP-gated CNG Na plus channels, hyperpolarizing the cell. This makes the cell sensitive to small increases in brightness, hence why walking into bright light from a dark room bleaches the rhodopsin. How does the rhodopsin get bleached? Well, the absorption of light photons by the retinal molecule causes an isomeric change. This causes the retinal to change isometrically from 11 cis to the all trans configuration. Rhodopsin is made up of an opsin and 11 cis retinal. So in order for rhodopsin to form again, the all trans retinal must be regenerated into 11 cis retinal. As a result of the isomeric change, opsin changes into metahardopsin 2, which is a very unstable molecule. It splits and yields opsin in all trans retinal molecules. Using ATP, all trans retinal is regenerated into 11 cis retinal with ADP as a byproduct. With 11 cis retinal regenerated, it is reassembled with opsin to reform rhodopsin. Ultimately, rhodopsin in the dark regenerates faster than it bleaches because there are less changes in brightness in the dark. This allows humans to gain night vision, or better known as scotopic vision. It's fascinating to see how pirates knew that it existed, but didn't know the cause, and now with neurobiology, we're able to understand why this happens. Thank you for watching.